Hi, Tom here and welcome to this week's Circle Line Art School video. For this drawing in two point perspective, first draw a horizontal line lower than halfway down your page. Next draw a cross for the main vanishing point. Now draw two diagonal lines from the vanishing point, one to the right and one to the left side of your page. This will be the main runway of the airport. We can add a second vanishing point on the far right of the horizon line. From this second vanishing point we can also draw two more diagonals for a second runway going off towards the right. Now in this area we can draw a simple airport. Start by drawing a vertical line for the nearest corner of the nearest building. Next by drawing lines from this vertical line to the two vanishing points we can draw the sides of the building. Once you have the two sides of the building, add a few more vertical lines to show where the walls of the sides of the building stop. We can now erase some of the guidelines we no longer need. For this far building, I'll add a zigzag roof. For this, the left hand lines will all go to the vanishing point on the left. I think I'll add a slightly taller building here. Again, I keep the vertical lines straight and the diagonal lines will go to either the left or the right vanishing points. We could draw an observation tower here, a tall, thin tower with some pod-like shapes at the top of it. We could add a long viewing window at the top. At this stage there would just be a couple of horizontal lines. Next we can draw another diagonal line on the left of the drawing for a base of a new building. And then again add a vertical line for the nearest corner. And then from this a diagonal line from the top of the side of the wall. The horizontal lines on the left can just taper a bit. I'll put a curved roof on the top of this building. Again we can find the top by drawing another diagonal line to the vanishing point. For the back curve just copy the front curve. Now I can erase some of the guidelines that we no longer need. I think I'll draw some large hangar doors on the left hand side of this building. Now it's time to draw the plane itself. Start by drawing two diagonal lines close together that go straight up from the main vanishing point. Next add two more diagonal lines either side for the front of the wing. Next we can draw another horizontal line here for the back of the wing. Next we can draw a curve for the front of the plane. And now draw a point for the far end of the plane, the furthest part away from us. We can now draw the tail wing, two simple triangles at the back of the plane. I can add a dot for the front centre of the plane. And above this dot I'm going to draw a simple pilot's window. I think I'll add some stripes either side of the body of the plane. We can draw a landing wheel at the front here. Now I'm going to add four circles for the four engines on this plane, two for each wing. Next we can draw some more wheels. I'll draw four more pairs of wheels and some flaps on the wings too. Now I can erase some of the guidelines that we no longer need. Now we can draw two more diagonal lines coming straight towards us for the white line of the runway. Next I'll draw a simple shadow for this plane, directly below the plane. I'll make it quite dark later, but I'll try and keep the edges slightly fuzzy. Now I'll add some basic tone to this drawing. For this drawing I'm using a mechanical 2B pencil. Any soft pencil would do well. I'll just add some tone to the left of the observational tower 
and on the left hand side of all of the airport buildings, just a simple flat tone. And now I can shade the left hand side of the body of the plane. I'll shade in the wings and the four engines too, and the shadow of the plane as well. I'll also shade in the ground that is not part of the runways. And now I can add some small windows at the front of the plane. I will now draw a door and a few simple windows on the airport on the right. Thank you very much for watching this drawing. I hope you find it useful for your own drawings. If you do, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my YouTube channel, Circle Line Art School. I post a new video every Saturday. Thank you very much for watching and see you next time.